As we advance in this new digital technological era, we are going to need more and more silver. The problem is it's becoming harder and harder to find. The record-breaking supply deficit we achieved in 2023, in my opinion, will be broken by next year. That is what the data shows. Well, yesterday, Zero Hedge posted an article titled AI to Fuel Precious Metals Demand in 2024. I know what you're thinking. This is great. We all make a pretty penny, but I must warn you, there is going to be a price to pay. This week's silver, gold, and platinum deals from Miles Franklin are the 2023 silver kangaroos while supplies last, which are only 310 over spot. Also, the 2.5 gram gold Volcambi bars, $25 over melt, and last but not least, the 5 gram Pamp Suisse platinum bar, only $25 over melt. If you want to take advantage of this week's deals, just simply send an email to info at milesfranklin.com. Let them know Silver Slayer sent you. Ask for a price sheet if you want to purchase anything else. We have everything. Anyways, welcome back, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer, folks. If you're new, welcome. I post daily silver-related videos, always giving you guys the newest, latest information, which currently is how AI is going to fuel precious metals demand in 2024. Now we know this AI surge is booming right now and they are saying that this will push precious metals demand higher, which we all know there is a direct correlation between silver's price with silver's demand. If the demand rises, the price rises. So what does that tell us? I'm also doing a huge giveaway and guess what? I'm picking the winner tomorrow. This is your last day to enter if you haven't. Links in the description. All you gotta do is subscribe and go enter. May the luckiest stacker win. If you're watching this video past November 7th, 2023, I'm sorry, but I will have another giveaway very shortly as we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So, Metals Focus predicts a boost in precious metals demand due to advanced AI chips and electronic components. Silver is expected to be most affected, being a key element in electronics and facing supply constraints with rising green energy needs. Industrial demand for gold has dropped this year, but the overall tech sector uptake of precious metals is forecasted to rebound next year due to AI developments. I've always talked about this. A lot of people say, well, uh, they're using less and less silver or um, like photography is kind of going out of business since everyone has a smartphone now. But there's always new, 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 you know, inventions. And all of these inventions are technological, which silver is heavily used in. And there's going to be new inventions in the future requiring even more silver than the uses we already have now, which are already setting record-breaking supply deficits. You see how this is going to quickly unfold and expose silver's true value? Well, I do, and I've been saying this for a long time, and I think by 2025, 2026 is when this true value will start to shine, pun intended. So anyways, let's jump into this article. I'll post the link in the description. The boom in AI could mean a boom in industrial demand for precious metals in 2024. Metals Focus, an independent precious metals research consultancy, released a note recently that said, it expects the increased demand for chips powering AI technology to drive widespread support for a range of precious metals bearing components. And you see up here, they said that this is going to be affecting silver the most. Well, that's why my name is Silver Slayer and not Gold Slayer. That's why silver has so much opportunity beyond gold, because silver is the metal that's widely used in technology, not so much gold. Industrial and tech demand for precious metals has been muted this year due to sluggish global economic activity. For instance, the demand for gold in the tech and industrial sector was down 3% year on year in the third quarter with offtake in the electronics sector dropping by 4%. Metals Focus said increased demand due to the evolution of AI could reverse this trend in the coming year, not just for gold, but also for silver, platinum, and palladium. 
expected upside from several applications that are that are gradually maturing should help support the recovery in industrial offtake next year. Metals Focus projects that shipping growth for AI servers and switches will rise by double digits over the next few years. To keep up with the evolution of AI algorithms, this will stimulate precious metals demand. Now, solar panel demand is already up like 50% in, you know, this year alone. Windmills, which have a very short half-life. Solar panels, which have a very short half-life. Recycling, that barely puts a dent into this problem. The fact that silver is a byproduct, which means it's found by accident. The fact that all of this is getting thrown away and there's not a real solution is what makes this so scary. That's why in the introduction I said there's going to be a price to pay. We're trying to go green for global warming and climate change. We're trying to go green for a reason, but silver is going to make that solution very, very difficult to achieve, which is it's great for us that have the silver because we'll make a pretty penny, but when you look at the bigger picture, it might not be so great unless we find a solution very fast, which right now doesn't seem uh, possible. So demand is expected to rise for platinum alloys used in chip manufacturing as well, which silver, palladium, AG, PD, multi-layer ceramic capacitors in high power components, gold bonding wire in chip and memory packages, gold plating in printed circuit boards, and palladium plating on lead frame. If you guys don't know, silver is the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity, electricity, and light sensitivity. That's why it's used in photography. But silver is used in everything. Even in the medical world, there's colloidal silver. It has antimicrobial properties. It can purify water. It can do everything, and it is literally the most useful element in the world, in my humble opinion. But if you want to look at uses, you know, if you want to give a case, if you're looking at something that is useful and you're determining value off of how important it is, silver is the most valuable. So AI-driven demand will likely have the most significant impact on the silver market. Silver possesses the lowest electrical resistance among all metals, as I just mentioned, at standard temperatures and is a vital component in many electrical applications or electronic applications. Tech and industrial applications account for more than half of the global silver demand. Silver market already faces the potential for significant supply constraints due to its growing demand in the green energy sector. Silver demand was at record levels in 2022 and will likely run hot over the next several decades. Demand exceeded 1.21 billion ounces, where supply is roughly 850 million ounces annually on a good year. So just do the math. According to research, a research paper by scientists at the University of New South Wales, solar manufacturers will likely require over 20% of the current annual silver supply by 2027. And by 2050, it will use approximately 85 to 98% of global silver reserves. 2050 is just solar panels, but also incorporate electric vehicles, which there is... <laughs> Right here in front of the screen, there is an advertisement for another electric vehicle, right? Join us in the journey towards a clean future for all. There we go. Electric vehicles, every single automobile company by the year 2030 will be electric. So just because solar panels will be using all the production by the year 2050, cut that in half because you also have electric vehicles, which is just as, which the demand is just as strong as solar panels and maybe even a little more since it's booming at such a fast pace as solar panel production is already, you know, booming, but the half-life is very short and those solar panels being thrown away within a couple of years are not being recycled. But then you have silver lithium ion batteries and you have uh, 5G towers. I mean, the reality of this is very, very scary. Industry slash tech only represents about 7% of global gold demand, right? Gold is mainly used in coins, bars, and jewelry. A little bit is used in technology, but it's mainly just sat around in vaults and on people's ears and on people's, uh, you know, watches. I mean, everything is basically just used as a representation of wealth with gold, where silver has real-world uses. So um, even though 7% uh, was industry and tech still mounted to uh, just over 75 tons of gold in the third quarter. So what does this truly mean? 
Well, in my opinion, it means that people need to start realizing how detrimental the silver shortage could be, but also for the people thinking that there is no silver shortage or thinking it's all a myth, I want people to get out of the closed-mindedness and maybe open up to realize that the numbers don't lie. And even if they did, moving forward, it's a fact that we are quickly advancing into a new digital technological era and silver is not going to be replaced anytime soon i mean we're talking about elements in the universe gold and silver aren't made in the earth's mantle it came here from asteroids and comets and meteors so we're gonna see silver sticking around for a very very long time as since the beginning of man it's been used as money as used as a critical role in the development of the world and that's not going away anytime soon as i said it's the most highly conductive metal copper is a close second in terms of electrical conductivity but the quality just isn't even worth replacing it so i don't know i just wanted to show this because it just shows that every single day there is new data pointing towards silver rising in demand and since there is a direct correlation between rising demand and rising supply or, or rising price one plus one equals two you don't got to make it any more complicated than that itself and it's not even about that though owning silver is to preserve your wealth it's not that silver is going to explode next year and i'm going to get rich when i cash it in at a hundred dollars because i bought it at 20. no silver is the wealth it's not going to make you wealthy by converting fake money back into or converting the real money back into fake money um so anyways what do you think about this uh let me know in the comment section below make sure you subscribe because i am doing a giveaway and i'm announcing the winner tomorrow i won't say what the prize is yet i think i did pick out what it's going to be and it's going to be very very uh, generous on my part and I think you guys are going to be happy I always like switching it up a little bit you know um, I think last giveaway I gave away a tube of eagles and um, something else as well I forget um, but yeah this prize is gonna be interesting I think you guys are gonna like it so yeah anyways make sure you subscribe if you want to purchase some silver hit up or, or gold or platinum uh, we have some deals at Miles Franklin so send an email to info at milesfranklin.com. Let them know Silver Slayer sent you. I appreciate you guys for sticking around, especially if you've watched this far into the video. You didn't click off thinking you know everything. Uh, you wanted to stay and soak up all the information. I think that will pay off at the end of the day. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much. I love you all. This was Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the giveaway. Peace.